All right, guys, so it's Taylor here. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about how to change the blade on a stick edger. So there's all sorts of different edgers. There's a lot of the big ones that are like a car pushing around. We found that these are the quickest and the most efficient. So this, again, is called a stick edger. It pretty much has the same frame and engine as what a, a weed eater or a weed whacker would have, but it has a little blade on the end. So. These metal blades, they get worn down. You have to, as a homeowner, you probably only have to change them a few times a year. Us as a company, we normally change them about daily. So, so pretty much what happens here is there's a little hole right here on the top of the frame. And that hole, you need to stick something in it to prevent it from spinning. So if I can show you there. So we just stick an Allen wrench in there. That prevents that from spinning. Um, you can get a ratchet and put that over the bolt. We use, a, we use a kind of an impact wrench. So the only thing to be aware is that lefty loosey, righty tighty, 99% of the time, except on stick edgers. Always gotta remember that. The, the blade spins a certain way, so the threads of the screw actually go the opposite way. So, so when I'm undoing this, it really, on the drill, it says I'm putting it in. And turn that on high for us. So that loosens everything. Maybe, hold on. Gets that taken off. So all we do is put the back, the new one back on and then screw this one back on. So change the direction of the drill. Tighten that up and then it's good to go. So. Not too difficult, but this will give you a lot cleaner edge than doing it any other way. And uh, it's pretty simple and quick. So these blades are probably two bucks or so. So they're not expensive, but they get worn down. It's easier to change them. So hope, hope that tip helps. Have a good day. Bye.